what's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 40 so let me just correct this thing sorry guys so uh, in the last tutorial I have uh, discussed that how to generate barcode using Python or uh, more or less the report lab graphics sub package but in that tutorial I also discussed that suppose you are working for a large uh, multinational, multinational company and uh, company and there the requirement is uh, to generate barcode for the thousand millions or let's say million millions of products and company don't want to use any any third party package or software and, and doesn't also willing to uh, invest any money on the any software so if you know python you can generate that list uh, generate that um, uh, generate the barcode from the list of products or the inventory easily and today's use case is going to be uh, focusing on that and also let me tell you one thing i got this use case uh, for one of our subscriber and he told me that he's working uh, for a company and he's managing uh, let's say thousands of products but now company wants to go digital and the uh, first requirement is to generate the barcode is there any software available so uh, before replying uh, uh, or getting any response from my side he all uh, again replied to me that yes some softwares are available but probably those are very expensive or company don't want to uh, company doesn't want to any invest any money on that so if if we, i know python can i do it i have i told him that it is possible using a report lab but now let's try to do this thing as a use case basic so if you know python if you know report lab and just because we are covering report lab report lab also uh, providing this sort of feature from the graphics app package how to create barcode so in the last video you have seen how to create package uh, sorry create barcode directly from report lab graphics library or sub uh, sorry sub sub package but now we'll see if you're having list of product how to generate the barcode for each and every product this is going to be the same thing like let's say you have thousand products you are generating thousand barcodes and after that you told uh, you, 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 after that you tell your or you just giving instruction to your packaging team to just take a printout and uh, print it or something whatever they are doing but the ultimate thing is to generate the barcode okay that thousand products are going to have thousand different barcode thousand product means thousand product category not like that you are having one uh, paste from an x brand and you are having uh, 10 copies of or thousand copies of same product the barcode will be always same right but again depending on the manufacturing date some data could be changed but again most of the case the barcodes are going to be same so if you are using same product okay so today's topic will be then and we'll be going to focusing on the code 39 so i have already discussed what is code 39 and uh, i'm not going to discuss that and there i'll put the code i'll put the copy paste of the code so let me just open the id so let's run this thing so from report lab dot platypus import paragraph then simple doc template then spacer then next thing is from report lab dot graphics dot barcode import code 39 next thing from report lab dot leap dot styles import get sample style sheet then from report no no not report lab next thing is import csv so our all necessary prerequisites are imported now so let me just remove this thing because i'm doing some testing okay nothing is there nothing is there this tutorial 40 so now i'll show you this data file so i've just created a sample data file these are having like five products so i'll create five barcode uh, file for each of this product and there will be pdf file and after that you need to just forward this file to your inventory team or packaging team okay so let's focus on this thing first okay so wait define the style object first styles are going to be get sample style sheet okay and with open data this is normal csp reading using python okay f1 then 
data row is equals to csv dot reader then f1 and delimited is going to be comma okay that's it and then we'll start the for loop for row in data row and there we'll define every time our pdf object so every time the object is going to be the unique one sorry object means the file name will be unique one so for that pdf equals to simple doc template so our file name will be like uh, uh, sorry row let's say row 0 means the product id so we'll write row where is the file yes where is the okay it's here actually so row 0 then one then this and then row 1 means our product brand name so this is not like this okay then plus then hyphen and then last thing is going to be uh, row 2 means what is the product type so row 2 like and after that we'll just append this thing uh, with uh, dot pdf okay so row 0 hyphen row 1 hyphen row 2 it means it's the product id product id name on this so the hyphen 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 will be in between and after that dot pdf so these are going to be our file name so we'll define the flowable object is always going to be blank in a case right and now we define the uh, barcode text so barcode underscore text is going to be uh, again uh, let's say row zero okay plus row one plus row two everything will be there row three how many rows are there row zero row one row two row three row four and and row four okay and in between there will be it will start with this hyphen as i told you and in between there will be hyphen 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 like this okay and here also hyphen here also hyphen and here also hyphen okay it starts with this and ends with another hyphen that's it so it starts with this ends with this and probably i forgot to do this this thing so row zero append with this then append with this thing then append with this thing then happen just check the plus symbols are there so properly append or not then what will happen we need to just append this thing so flow underscore obj dot append and this is going to be barcode text and after that we need to just give some sort of spacer spacer and we'll give let's say 110 is fine and then we'll append up another thing which is going to be the barcode name so what is going to happen so flow underscore obj dot append what is the product name so this is going to be this thing okay and after that we need to just uh, build the file build let's see I believe I haven't done any mistake, any spelling mistake or any syntax. So there will be one, two, three, four, five files starts with this product and every product will be having this barcode. So let's run this thing now. Again, I did some mistake. Let's see what are the mistake I did. 
well it is saying in this line I have done some mistakes so I am not sure what is the mistake mm. okay okay now I got it so text equals to this okay so p text is going to be because we need to define the paragraph actually so text and styles equals to styles and then normal and after that we need to just append this thing so that was the mistake okay so hopefully uh, hopefully this will be okay now so let's run this thing now this is saying list object is not callable I am not sure text equals to row 0 why this is happening Ta -da 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 -da. okay forgot to append sorry I did lots of mistake again not sure why every time I'm getting error here I am not sure actually what is the problem here well let's first build this without appending this thing let's check first let's try to build this thing the problem is in this line I am not sure why the problem simple doc template row 0 hyphen this row 1 this row 2 this what is the problem actually here hmm some error is here but I am not sure about the error barcode text is okay okay sorry guys I did everything but I did not create the barcode actually so that is why the problem so sorry extremely sorry so barcode is going to be this code that is why I'm thinking why I'm getting this error code 39 dot standard 39 and we need to put this barcode text here and here we'll put barcode okay so problem was here actually I didn't create the barcode and rather I was trying to do this thing so probably now let's try to run this thing again it's terminated so let's refresh see 001 call get paste dot pdf 002 pep student paste dot pdf 002 nestle paste dot pasta pdf 005 nestle soup pdf 005 quaker oats dot p quaker banana is spelling mistake oh sorry I, I, I think of because of this reason quaker doesn't sue me so let me open this thing see like this so let's do one thing try to check whether we had whether we did it correctly or not so let me go to this website and try to decode our barcodes okay so let's go and check so this nestle pasta try to do this thing so 004 nestle soup 200 ml 3 usd let's see what is there 004 004 nestle soup 200 ml 3 usd let's do for another thing uh, let's try to do this thing for new file plus 2 002 read 002 pepsodent paste 100 gram 80 usd 002 pepsodent paste 100 gram to 8 usd is fine perfectly okay so there was a mistake guys i forgot to put this line sorry about that but it happens this is normal life developers life so you are bound to do mistake so 
that is normal so probably uh, I think I have covered everything for tutorial so now it is on your uh, like uh, ball is on your code you have to do some sort of practice and the guy who requested what the tutorial his name is Rohit Rohit this is for you and thank you very much for giving us that nice use case so now I hope you will be able to make your management or the boss happy and definitely they will give you some sort of like uh, recognition for doing these things and please let me know how you are doing with this thing for your company okay so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye but before closing this tutorial so guys you also can interact with me and send me your use case or problem or any project um, problem or whatever you are working irrespective of your company personal or your or final year college or school whatever i will try to help you and definitely it will also help me to learn some new thing and techniques so that's all for today hope to see in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel and share our videos with your friends and family and if possible ask them to also watch out for other videos as well from our channel and special thanks to all udemy students thank you very much because of you i am actually getting motivation to upload more videos on a regular basis and i'll promise you guys in 2020 it's already started in coming months i'll come up with some more exciting uh, courses so the preparation of the course uh, development part is going on I will start uploading the videos very soon, probably end of February or first week of March. So that's all guys. Once again, have a nice weekend. Till then, take care. Goodbye and uh, have a nice weekend. And I think I'll be able to upload more videos from Monday. But uh, don't worry about that. Try to do some sort of practice. There are enough materials. So in report lab, there are 40 tutorials. If you see, this is 40. So it's enough, more than 13 hour videos. So you will get ample content for your weekend. So once again, have a nice weekend. Take care. Goodbye.